45 minutes? What in God's name? Yeah, I wouldn't advance. Oh, Evan, you dumb dumb. What have you done? Hi, Evan Edinger here, everyone's favorite test taking YouTuber. So the UK's education system can be a bit confusing from an outsider's perspective. You've got over 30,000 state schools, which is the UK's version of the US public school. And then you've also got private school in which you can pay money to have your children go to that one. But then there's this interesting middle ground, a grammar school. Now, grammar schools are a bit of a hot topic these days. In fact, they're no longer a thing in Wales. They're no longer a thing in Scotland, but there are over 160 left in England, not in every part of England, but 160 compared to the over 30,000 state schools, you can probably about guess they're a bit harder to get into. How does one get into a grammar school? Well, you gotta take an 11 plus exam, usually taken at the age of 11 or around year six. This exam is supposed to test you on your English, your reasoning and your logic and math. And all of this is supposedly so difficult that, well, some very close friends of mine were never able to get in and pass this. But if they do miss this, there's always the 12 plus, which is for people that failed the 11 plus, just to get into grammar school, which usually has, because there are fewer of them and you have to take a test to get in, which is voluntary. Usually there's a higher class of student in terms of how they perform, but you know, I'm not getting into any of the debate. And so I'm gonna be taking an 11 plus exam right now to see just how difficult it is. There's 45 minutes on the clock. Without further ado, boom, let's get started. All right. First page we've got here is find the missing words. The following sentences each have one word missing. Complete each sentence or selecting one word that makes the best fit the options. Example, people traveling to certain countries need vaccination. Okay, that makes a bit of sense. So we're gonna have, it is a friendly village with a great sense of community. Community makes the most sense. So we're gonna go to community. She is my role model and it was a real blank to meet her. Uh, privilege, <laughs> it was a real hindrance. Uh, as the sun rose high in the sky, the snowman began to melt, is melt, 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 melt. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, the infants knelt blank their teacher as he read out the story. Behind, weird, above, giant infants, under, hopefully not at the grammar school I'm taking my kids to, eh? Uh, with the teacher, I guess that makes sense, before the teacher. I'd say before makes more the most sense because before can be like in front of. Next up, underline one word on the right which has the most similar meaning to the word on the left. Controversy or controversy, as they say here, is going to be similar to debate, I guess, or your debate. Mischievous, mischievous, naughty. I don't even have to look at the other ones, right? Right, check, 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 yep, naughty. Next up, relevant, realistic, pertinent, that's right, I'm a pertinent YouTuber. Category would be group. Wow, okay, this, this isn't so bad so far. Hindrance is going to be something that interrupts. There we go, interruption. Killing it. Then we've got complete a word. Find three letters that complete each of these words. We have prophecy, that makes sense. We have pursue, pursuant, I guess that makes sense. Guaranty. This isn't so bad so far, guys. The English, at least. I heard the logic is difficult, but pen's dying. Government, then we have stomach, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We have neighbor, simping. Was sy sy symmetric? Symmetric, I think has two Ms. No chance. There is no chance. That's not a one word. Nonchalance, that is way too long. Oh. <laughs> I, I had such a good rhythm. I'm just gonna write symmetric. I think there's two Ms. I'm almost like 100% certain, but I don't know what else to write. For this one, no vance, that makes no sense. No fans, no, nom, nomance. Nonance, non, non, no nance, no pants. Mm, nah. I feel like nunce makes, n not nonce. Like I said, not at my grammar school, please. I'm gonna have to come back to that because I actually have no idea. Understanding vocabulary in context. We have the plane's departure time was 1345. What does the word departure mean? It means leaving. Cool. The poet performed his poem, the train using the rhythm of the poem to convey the train's journey. What does the word rhythm mean? Oh, I tried to do it with rhythm and that was fun. Beep, 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 beep. What does the word convey mean? To convey the train's journey, to express the, Tra train's journey, I guess, to drive, combine, sing. That would make the most sense. They were conscious of a creature standing far, rather too close for comfort. What does conscious mean? They were aware? Aware, that's an option. Oh, I'm forgetting to write. We have D, we have A. Why are they lowercase? That's much more easy to confuse, huh? D, maybe that's the purpose. Uh, what does the word comfort mean? Close for comfort means for safety. So we're gonna go with C. The thin transparent strands of the spider's web were decorated like jewel-like drops of dew suspended from the gossamer frame. What does the word suspended mean? 
hung, well hung, not at this grammar school. What does the word gossamer mean? I believe that's an instrument, right? Oh God, no. From the gossamer frame. I know it as a Passion Pit album. I would say beautiful or ethereal. I'm gonna say ethereal. The weather loaches darted around the aquarium before hiding in their subaquatic caves. Uh, what does the word darted mean? They whizzed. They did swim, but really fast. I'm gonna say whizzed. I think whizzed makes more sense. I like a good cheese whiz. Uh, what does the word subaquatic mean? Underwater. Next. I just want to get to the math, really. Opposite words. Underline the one word on the right that has the most opposite meaning to the word on the left. Okay, so antonyms. Rose is opposite to fell. Illegal is opposite to lawful. Convenient is opposite to untimely. Immature is opposite to developed, I would say. Advance is the opposite to recede, I would say recede. Incapable is the opposite of qualified. Okay, not so bad. Superfluous words, Lord. Rearrange these words to make the longest sentence you can and underline the word that is superfluous. Oh, okay. Fortnite, oh fun. Fortnite summer holiday hour on we are going for in the uh. God, this isn't fun. We are going for a summer holiday. I don't use the word Fortnite. I know that it means two weeks, right? We are going on holiday in an hour for a fortnight for an hour oh god we're going for holiday at least i think i know how it starts we are going on a summer holiday in the fortnight hour there's no and so it's not in an hour oh we could say for summer holiday we are going in fortnight oh god I'm gonna have to skip over it. I feel embarrassed now. Hot weather gloves necessary mittens are cold in a. I would say that gloves or mittens, this one jumped out to me much better. Gloves or mittens are necessary. What? Hot. Oh, cause there's one out. Oh, one doesn't fit. Gloves or mittens are necessary in cold weather. All right, so it says to underline the one that isn't being used. So I'm gonna underline hot. I'm actually gonna box it because that is easier to see. All right, this is not enjoyable now. One of these isn't used. We are going on holiday. I think hour is gonna be it. We are going on a summer holiday. God, it, there's too many, okay, we're gonna, hold on. The tower traffic suspension carried over the river bridge. The river bridge carried the traffic, the suspension bridge carried traffic over the river. All right, and the word tower is not used, all right? It is a baby moment, is it? It is a baby moment when a magical toy is born. It is a magical moment when a baby is born. Okay, that was actually quite easy because it started with those. A magical moment, depends on who the perspective is, it may be Santa's talking, is born. Wow, they even started and ended with the right thing. All right, so Fortnite summer holiday. God dang, this, this one really upset me. It's, I think it's because I don't say summer holiday. That's such a British thing. We are going on holiday. Oh, in the summer, whoa, whoa, whoa. In the summer for a fortnight. Oh my God, we are going on holiday for the summer in a fortnight. All right, so the word was our. Yeah, I think that was the one we we did realize that was not it. All right, I think I saved it. Still don't know what the other one was though. Eh? Vocab, look at the following words and then use them to answer the questions that follow. All right, find two words that are synonyms for interrupt, disturb, Intrude, all right? Find two words that are antonyms for the word commendable. Disgraceful, I would say. Outrageous, I would say. Outrageous and disgraceful. I guess that works. Uh, next up, we have find two words that are synonyms for the word error. We have mistake and we have fault. Look at the following words and then use them to answer the questions that follow, same thing. Find two words that are synonyms for trademark. Brand? It's possible. Oh, this one's way more difficult. Sorting, successful, trademark, trademark. His trademark move, you could say, is the one that he does all the time. I wouldn't even say brand necessarily fits, but nothing else does. Trademark as an adjective, I understand. Cleansed, aggressive, successful move. Sorting, no. Trademark, leave me alone, news. I think creation, may maybe. I'm gonna have to move on. I'm gonna have to go with creation and brand, but that is really a stretch, to be honest. All right, next up, find two words that are antonyms for the word peaceful. The opposite of peaceful would be, okay, aggressive is the opposite of peaceful. Serene, that is a synonym. Placid, uh, fury. I think aggressive, it definitely works. That's good, let's just clear that off. Two words that are synonyms for assorted. Assorted, like assorted, like various goods. Definitely various, that one's pretty easy. Miscellaneous, miscellaneous. So two words that are antonyms for peaceful. We're still missing, what's the opposite of peaceful? Uh, superior, portly, brand, we've already used it. United, opposite of peaceful. Eh, good too. Mellow, serene, briar, calm. Peaceful, peaceful, nettle, placid. I actually, I'm gonna be honest. I, I thought placid meant like very similar to calm. It's very placid, but that's the only one I'm like, I don't really know. I just feel like I know what placid means. Careless, opposite of peaceful. Pin, needle, offering. The opposite of peaceful is offering. I guess I could say fiery. The opposite of peaceful is fury. No, 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 it'd have to be an adjective. Sorting, successful, cleansed, 
it's either placid or fiery. I'm going to say fiery. I, honestly, I uh, I don't know. It, it could be this one, but I'm not going to know. Comprehension. Can I comprehend some things? Let's see. Expectation lay in the air. I swung myself up onto the gate that links the two fields and chewed beech nut gum pellets bought from the old machine in the village. Still there were no cars, no vans, no people, nothing on the horizon at all. I watched the hardly visible red spiders like tiny specks of blood crawling over the worn wooden gate. I was bored, yet I didn't want to miss anything, so I had to remain sitting watching. The sun was high in the sky before the first shimmer of something appeared on the horizon. I stared as hard as I could, desperate to make out what it was. As it moved closer, I saw, with great disappointment, it was the green jeep from the farm next to ours. I wriggled on the gate. The thin wooden top feeling more uncomfortable the longer I sat there. Oh my God, it's a lot. At last, another glimmer on the horizon and again I stared hard. The sun was so bright, the image was fuzzy, but this looked promising. I was right. A relatively small convoy of camper vans and small lorries, trucks, snaked towards the village, always partially hidden by the twists and turns of the road and the thick greenery of hedges and tree foliage. Now more colorful snakes appeared, each one longer and more exotic than the previous one. The bottom field was soon filled with cheery tents and tape ticing rides and the promise of excitement. This was the event that the villagers looked forward to all year round and there was a tangible buzz in the air. I hopped off the fence and walked along the lane home. I had mentally calculated how many vans and lorries had appeared, but it didn't sound nearly enough. I might have added a few more that were truly there, but I relished the attention given by everyone, all of them desperate to know what had arrived, how it arrived, how it all looked, whether the music had started, whether the posters had gone up. I told a good story and everyone from grandma to the sheepdog had been whipped up into a frenzy of anticipation. For one marvelous moment, I was the only person talking in the room. The power and adoration was amazing and as all eyes were fixed on me. For a little girl with six brothers and sisters, this attention was the most was most welcome and it was worth the discomfort of sitting on the fence for hours on end. The following day, I woke early to blue skies and bright sunshine shine, I remember pulling on my favorite dungarees, my multicolored striped top, and a red scarf that I tied haphazardly in my hair before bolting down some breakfast and running down to the lane in the village. As expected, there were huge gaudy posters everywhere. Enjoy the thrills of the traveling fair, they proclaimed. My heart beat faster as I knocked on my friend's doors. Arrangements were hastily made before I had to return to my chores, collecting eggs, feeding the pigs, moving the cows from the byre to the fields, and all the time the fair was on my mind. On my mind. After an early tea, my friends called and we were all walked across, we all walked across the fields down the bottom of the field. Uh, the journey seemed to take forever and every step quickened my heart. Uh, the evening was wonderful with even more rides than the year before. The satellite, Maxwell's Waltzer, the twist, the Dodgem cars, the carousel, and a potato sack helter-skelter. Uh, we stood around the crackling, sizzling bonfire to eat hot spit roast pork rolls, oozing with sticky sweet applesauce, followed by crispy salted uh, baked potatoes dripped in uh, dripping in butter and cheese. Even in the tin foil, they were unbearably hot and yet too delicious to complain. It was much later on, before we had room left to eat crispy battered apple slices dipped in sugar, the molten hot apple, a sweet mush in our mouths. We then enjoyed handfuls of huge pink puffs of spun candy floss that seemed to disappear as soon as it touched our tongues. How could the wooden sticks so full of candy floss clouds disappear into nothing at all? As the late August sunlight ebbed away, the music seemed louder, the bright fair ground light seemed even brighter and we began to try our hand at the side stalls. We tossed heavy balls at the coconut shy. We tried in vain to hook ducks with a pole and threw hoops at the hoopla. There were darts to throw, pennies to roll, our futures to be read by the mystic tent until we were all so tired it became hard to focus on anything. Between us, we had one two goldfish, one small rubber bouncy ball, a silver sl slinky stair climber, and a huge cuddly dog. How we got up the field and back home with our spoils was a miracle, but we did get home and fell into bed with a smell of smoke in our hair and the taste of salt still on on our lips. All right, quite beautiful, we'll see. Uh, what season of the year do you think this text is set in? Find three pieces of evidence. We know that it's in August. The story takes place in late summer. Find three pieces. So at one point we did see a bit the late August sunlight was used. Does anyone know when beech nuts grow? <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Oh God, I, the sun was high in the sky. So we can say sun was high. Th that's usually a sign that it is in the summer still. Colorful snakes, yada, yada. Bright sunshine. When do we get bright sunshine? Early tea. It's northern. Late August is pretty much what I've got here. Yikes. I can't find anything else. I mean, I will go with the one that had to do with the sun. The sun was high in the sky. This is weak. I feel like I shouldn't have to have three pieces pieces of evidence. It says bloody August. Mate, that's gotta be summer. Come on. I'm not getting points for this. The greenery of hedges and tree foliage. Listen, I'm moving on. I want to get to the math and I'm running out of time. Thick greenery and tree foliage. What word could replace the following words as used in the text? You want me to find the word fuzzy in here? 
That's rubbish. Fuzzy, gaudy, spoils. I know spoils is at the end. How do we get back with all the spoils? I would say winnings. Gaudy, I remember reading that. Fuzzy, I have no goddamn idea. Give two reasons why you think the vehicles are likened to snakes. Describe what you think side stalls are. Which phrase in the text mean the following? Ate food very quickly. Which phrase is used in the text to mean the following? I'm just gonna go through because I know where that one is. That one, she said something very bizarre. I'd say bolt, not in the way they did. They bolted the food down. Bolting down some breakfast. Bolting down. As I got closer, I got more excited. And as it grew darker, as I got closer, I grew more excited. Oh, gaudy, found gaudy. As expected, there were huge gaudy posters everywhere. Garish, I would say. What word? Colorful, literally, this is really funny. I thought, I'll just Google it. I can't do that on a test. Gaudy, I'm gonna go with garish. However, I don't know how to spell garish. I say the word garish. I don't know, that's pretty garish. Gaudy, like pff, colorful. I wanna say colorful. You know what? I'm gonna go with colorful. I know what the vibe of the word gaudy means, like very pomp and circumstance. You know what I mean? Just like, pff. all right, uh, fuzzy. I don't know where fuzzy is yet. We're still looking for, as it grew darker. This is annoying. I don't wanna do this as the late sunlight ebbed away. Describe what you think the side stalls are. I mean, I'm assuming side stalls are just the places that you go to, you know, have fun, you, you play in the games. Has someone never been to a fun fair? Different games they have at the fun fair separated by rudimentary walls. We'll go with that, it's enough. The sun was so bright, the image was fuzzy. Uh, it says what word could replace that. Okay, the sun was bright, so the image was obscured. Blurry, blurry, blurry. I would say obscured works as well. Uh, what do you think is meant by the phrase whipped up into a frenzy? I think that's when she's describing it to the friends, to the families. Oh, there it says, now more colorful snakes appeared, each one longer and more exotic than the previous one. The bottom field was soon looking full of cheery tents. Probably because they're like, it's a convoy. It's a convoy of like trailers. So if it says, give two reasons why the vehicles are likened to snakes, use the text. They're, when do I get to the math? Oh my God, I have no time. Oh my God. I need to get to the math. I, they're likened to snakes. 45 minutes. They're likened to snakes because they carry multiple trailers. I'm gonna be honest. I, I do not have time for this. The English is bullshit. Okay, draw, oh my God, I'm skipping. Oh my God, there's more. Oh God, how am I gonna do this? Oh God, it's 17 minutes. Okay, panicking is not a good idea. What we're gonna do is uh, ignore this. We'll come back to it. Uh, find the three letter word, uh, more, no, no, short math. Fill in the missing numbers so that these mathematical sentences make sense. Oh my God, I'm so scared. 87 plus 31 is uh, 88. 88 plus blank. All right, we're just gonna do one of these boys. This is embarrassing, we got seven. Uh, there's gotta be four, right? 47. Yes, we gotta move. Uh, 912 minus 62, that's going to be 850. Oh, oh God, minus something equals that. So we're gonna go with a little bit of this, uh, a little bit of that and a little bit of that, 431. Oh, listen, I don't have time to check my work. Uh, 72 divided by eight, that's nine, equals 27 divided by three. Uh, let's just get rid of that. Seven squared, which is 49, plus th four to the third, which is 64. So 49 plus 64 is going to be 113, if that is, if that is correct. Uh, yes, that is correct. Blank times three plus 29 equals 80. All right, we're gonna go with 80 minus 30 is 50, so just uh, add one more, so 51. 51 equals something times three. Is that 17? Yes, 17 times three. Uh, then we have 0.62 plus blank plus 1.37 equals 6.51. All right, yet again, we're gonna do that thing. These are just added up, so 1.37 is four. Is that a one? Oh God, I messed up. Okay, 5.14. So we have 5.14 minus 0.62. Oh God, I know it ends in an eight. This is embarrassing actually. Uh, what happened to me? 5.14 minus 6.2, you've got an eight. This is a zero, which makes that a four. So I'm gonna go with 4.48. That's a four. I, I'm the teacher, so I know what I wrote. Let's just double check, even though I don't have time for that. This can't be right because eight. Evan, you dumb dumb. What have you done? All right. I have five, five, okay, I have, this is so basic. 6.51 minus 1.37. We have four, then we have one, and then we have five. 5.14. That was correct. Now minus 0.62. That is going to be two. 51 minus six is going to be the five. So four, five. So we're going to go with 4.52. And that adds up to what I want. So we're good, we're good, we're good. A new game costs 16 pound 49, as if. I pay with a 20 pound note. How much change should I expect to receive back? You should expect 51 pence and three pounds. This morning it was negative four outside and now it is 18. How many degrees warmer has it become? Well, it went up four and then it went up 18. So that's 22. A triangle has one angle of 36 and another angle of 85. So that's going to be 121 degrees uh, together, correct? Uh, which means that all that's left, if that's what it's asking, I haven't even read it yet, but we're going to assume it's gonna be 59. What is the third angle? 59 degrees has to add up to 180, and that does. If x plus 26 equals 30, then 
x equals 4, and 3x, or 12 plus 22, which is 34. What? Is that supposed to be x to the third? What? Wait, how can you, you, there's only one variable at play here. If x plus 26 equals 30, x is four. It doesn't matter what other things we have. Oh, it is because that is supposed to be x cubed and that is dreadful. Because that would be 64 plus, yes, it is right. So x is four, so dumb. Okay, long maths, math. Solve the following mathematical problems. I was born on Tuesday the 28th and I was baptized five days later on Sunday the 5th. If both statements are true, which month was I born? Oh God, five days later. Oh, that would be February. Only way that's possible. At the library, it takes five librarians three hours to put all the return books away. Oh my God, they're doing this? Oh, I remember doing this in elementary school, but I hated it. It was a painting. If two librarians are away, how long will it take? Oh, there's no way. I can't remember this. It has to do with like the sum of the product or something. If five librarians take three hours to put all the books away. How much is one librarian doing? Divide both sides by five and you have one librarian does, this is wrong by the way. I'm, I know there's a formula I'm absolutely doing it wrong. One librarian does it in three fifths of an hour. We'll just say that. That means if two are away, how long would it take for them to put the books away? So if normally it takes three hours, how long would it take three to do three? Well, it would be three fifths, three divided by three fifths, which is the same as three times five over three, which I'm gonna assume is five hours. Very wrong, probably. Shop A is selling paint at five pound 99 out of 10. Shop B is selling paint at seven pound 99 out of 10, but they have an offer of one tin free for every two, how many, how, how am I supposed to do this? I should have just done the math, guys. Oh my God, there's no time to do this. I have 11 minutes. All right, shop A is selling paint 5 dollars 10. Shop B is selling paint at 7 dollars 10, but they have an offer, one free tin. I'm gonna skip it. I don't have time. I, I think I, I don't think I can do this. Uh, Michael, I'm skipping it, it's too long. The following table shows the cost of stationery from wholesalers, the cost of the item in the shop and the profit made. What is the difference between the highest and lowest retail price? Highest and lowest retail price. Well, here's the retail prices. The lowest is $8.99 and the highest is 19.99. So therefore the difference would be 11 pounds. Which product produces the most profit? It literally should just be, yeah, the one that has the biggest profit number, so crayons. What is the average wholesale price? You want me to do an average right now with this amount of time left? Is this calculator allowed, eh? There's no god way I'm doing that average by hand right now. I just don't have the time. If I sold each item, how much profit would I make together? So it basically wants me to just add up these numbers, which yet again, I feel it would be easy if I had a calculator, which I do not. Is this calculator friendly? I actually do not know. I'm assuming I'm gonna get lots of comments, like you should use a calculator. That's not fair. What time does Philip reach the news agents? After he collects the tickets, Philip stops off at the shops to buy some vegetables. Okay. He goes to the station before returning home. He stops the news agents partway for a newspaper and a block of chocolate. After he collects the tickets, he stops off at the shops for some vegetables and bread before returning. Okay, so each of these is he stopping. So he stops at the news agents for a newspaper and a block of chocolate. After collecting the tickets, which I'm assuming is right around here, he stops off at the shops for some vegetables before going back home. News agents is first, so that would be 2.20 to 2.30. How long does it take Philip to reach the station? Uh, we're assuming he collects the state here, so three, it takes him one hour. How long does Philip spend in the shops? We have one, two, two and a half hours. 2.5 hours. How far are the shops from Philip's home? They're actually quite close. Five minutes, 15 minutes. Okay, we've got less than eight minutes left. Nonverbal, okay, nonverbal reasoning. Circle the letter that answers the following problems. Which pattern comes next in the sequel? Whoa, okay. I remember these in elementary school. I loved them, but they were hard. Which pattern on the right is reflection of the pattern on the left? Man. Which code matches the pattern at the end? Um, I'm assuming that it's gotta be an L. I, I, I'm just feeling like there's gotta be an L there. I'm gonna go with LR because of the, the shapes. I'm not describing it, I don't have time. Which pattern on the right completes the second pair in the same way as the first pair? So circle square is to that as this is to, it's gonna be a diamond with the triangle on the inside. Oh God, there's multiple, but it inverts the colors. So this one would be correct, I believe. Oh my God, there's so many, there, these are similar. Oh, it would be this one, it would be this one, E. Uh, which cube can be made from the given net? Oh my God, this is the, okay. All oh, right, so you gotta flip it. The heart can be next to the arrow. Diamond's gonna be next to heart, black, white, and arrow. Heart, black, white, so this cannot be it. I'm just gonna have to guess one. I, I don't have time, I don't have time. Okay, we're at, we might actually have some time to go back and do some. Which pattern completes the grid? Star, circle, star, 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 star. Would it be circle, star? I believe. Which pattern on the right goes best with the pattern on the left? What in God's name? All right, which pattern on the right 
goes best with the pattern on the left. One, two, three, four, five, and there's six sides. One, two, three, four, four sides. One, two, three, four, five, five sides. One, two, three, four. Did I count wrong? Oh, there's six. So therefore, that's wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. This is right. That's wrong. All right. All right, all right. Which two patterns are the same? This one and this one seem pretty sexy. There's a lot to worry about here, but... All right, so... Which ones have I skipped? This one and this one. I like these nonverbal reasoning ones, but they're not fun. Which pattern comes next? So black is going to be in the middle, uh, sorry, on the second one. So it needs to be one of the first three. We have the stripy ones needs to be in the fourth. So this one right here. Oh, cool. Which pattern on the right is a reflection of the pattern on the left? Oh, it's reflecting over this. Oh, nothing should ever come out of that. So this one is clearly wrong. This one can't be right. This one looks awful. So it's gotta be one of these two. We would just have to assume it is A. Okay, we've moved on back to the other ones. Oh God, this is where a calculator would really come in handy here. Oh my God, I had to skip so many of these. I need to just select stuff. Draw a line to match the literary effects uh, with the following examples that are taken from the text. Alliteration. Oh, I, yeah, that's easy. Crackling, sizzling, no, no, no. Uh, silver slinky hair. A simile. Spiders, like tiny specks of blood, yeah. Metaphor, oh God, those are so similar to me. Now more colorful snakes appeared. Crackling and sizzling is an onomatopoeia. Metaphor, I'm gonna go with that. Uh, next, we have closed texts. Underline one word, I have three minutes. One word in the brackets that is the best fit in these sentences. The quacking of the ducks, all right. Before we light a fire, we have to clean the old ash. A rockery is blank feature with all pine plants, rocks, and stones. A rockery is a garden feature, I would say. There are lots of blank cheeses in the UK, regional cheese. Picture books are especially suitable for pensioners, uh, toddlers, uh, maybe. Microphones, headphones, speakers are a way of limiting music to one person, uh, headphones. Find the missing three letters that need to be added to these words to the sentences to make sense. Three letters do not have to make a word. The child happily played on the bouncy castle. The contestants had to bake cakes, pastries, and biscuits. Uh, Jupiter and Saturn are planets in our solar system. The 12 months. Using a kettle is an effective method. It is cruel to keep an animal as a pet unless you can look after it properly. Oh, right. Oh, right. Oh my gosh. We've... Jesus didn't have time. The teacher was proud of her well-behaved class. Find a three-letter word that is needed to complete each word so that each sentence makes sense. The fleet of little fishing trawlers returned to the harbor, UK spelling. The little murmurs watched the waves as she sat on her rock. Mermaids. The little mermaid. Glasses help to protect eyeglasses. I thought that was an Americanism. Father blank prepared the walls of the morning room so that it looked neat. Prepared. Frick, 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 I've got a minute and a half. Is there any easy things I can just circle just to get possible points here? I did skip a bit. The reading really messed me up here. I also didn't feel like adding. I've got a minute and a half. I, I don't know what that is. Uh, what is the average wholesale price? You know what? We've got a minute left. No, we're not gonna use the calculator. We're gonna, <laughs> how much profit would I make altogether? Here we go. Are you ready? Can he do this? 320, 439, 380. All right, we've got nine plus four is 13. We've got two, it ends in a two. We're gonna carry the two. We've got nine, 11, 13, 16, 24, carry the two. We've got five, nine, 12, 16, 19. And that's a be real notification. I've got 30 seconds to be real. Oh no, what is an average wholesale price? There's no way I could possibly do that by hand right now. There's not enough time. How many cakes in total will have pink icing? I can't, I can't. I think we're just gonna have to call it there, folks. Explain why she didn't tell the truth. She wanted to embellish the story. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. Oh, wait. All right. Oh, God. It's time to be real, first of all. Oh, God. Time to gather myself up and see how I did. I've not printed up the answers. I don't know what they are yet. We're just going to have to see. God. I think if I were to do this again, I would stick with my strong suit and I would start on the math and then go to the English because... Having to read this giant story really slowed me down, especially because I'm reading it out loud for content. He's making excuses. All right, let's 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 order these up. Oh man, Heather's gonna be so happy that this was difficult for me. The time allotted is really tough. Nine, 10, 11. All right, it's time to see how I did. First answer is community. That is uh, one point, a uh, mark. They call them marks here, marks and johns. Community privilege melt before, Community privilege melt before. So we've got all marks. See, I'm learning. Next up, I wrote debate naughty pertinent group interruption. So start off strong. Oh, I couldn't do that. I'm so excited to see what this is. Rop, era, Mac, Ig. Got it. And then we have persuade. Is pursuant a word? Do children know what that is? What if I was a grade school kid? Oh, it's with a U. 
I've been thwarted. Persuade. Interesting. Oh, you have to get both of them right? So this is zero. Oh, damn. I'm so upset at myself. I know persuade. Why was I thinking of the word pursuant? Next up, we have government and aura. So we got this point. Oh my God. I. That means I'm getting so few points because they're matched up. The next bit was mock and symbolic. Oh God, zero and zero. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. What was that? Was it nuisance? <gasps> Maybe I just saw it. Oh my God. Upsetting. We're currently sitting at ten. Next up, the answers are Beat Express. That's one point. Aware Safety. Okay, I thought I'd gotten something. Oh, these are each a point. I'll take that. Then we have Hung Ethereal. I hope that's what it is. Yes, thank God. All right. I was whizzed and underwater. I'll take that. Uh, that is eight full points. Thank you very much. Marks, marks, marks. We are going on holiday, are we now? To play some Fortnite, clearly. What do we got next? We have Lawful Untimely Developed. Lawful Untimely Developed, Recede Qualified. We've got all marks here. Okay, we're catching back up. We're going on holiday for the summer in a Fortnite, and we are looking at our being the one that's useless. So it's our hot tower toy. Yes, I got all those right. In the summer, we are going on holiday for a Fortnite. We're going on holiday for the summer in a fortnight. Oh boy, do I get points for that? In the summer, we're going on holiday for a fortnight. Because this fortnight a length of time, we are going on holiday for the summer in a fortnight. I think that's correct. I think that also works in a fortnight. Don't. I'm gonna call someone, phone a teacher. She's not a teacher. Gloves or mittens are necessary in cold weather. Gloves or mittens are necessary. We got this one. The suspension bridge carried traffic over the river. It is a magical moment when a baby is born. It is a magical moment. Yes. So this one is currently up in the air. Hello, uh, can I ask you a quick question? Yes. Uh, first of all, the uh, 11 plus was god awful. Just want to throw that out there. I thought I was really slick and doing well. And then I looked at the time and had a panic attack because I had so much left to do. Sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah, sounds familiar, right? So the sentence that is correct in their eyes is, in the summer, we are going on holiday for a fortnight. My sentence was, we are going on holiday for the summer in a fortnight. Can you say in a fortnight? I thought that meant like in two weeks time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I didn't. You can say doing something in a fortnight. So you're saying we are going on holiday for the summer in a fortnight is also correct possibly. It's a really weird way of phrasing it. <laughs> Should I just give myself zero then? I would never use the word fortnight. I think it technically works. Okay. Would they mark me off because mine wasn't as smooth, you think? I think Mark, you was wrong if you didn't have exactly what they write down. All right. Well, thank you for your help. Hopefully I don't have to call you back because now I'm going to go through the, the rest of this test. We shall see. All right. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. So this one is in the air. It could be a zero. It could be a one. I'm going to give myself a one for now and we might remove it later. Five, nine. All right. Nine. We have disturb, intrude, check, outrageous, disgraceful, fault, mistake. Yes. And uh, then we have make brand. Ah, oh, really? The make of the car. Okay, okay, that's that's not one. Oh, it's worth two points each. So we have two, 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 only one. Aggressive, I got this one wrong. Did I oh, fiery, I was right. Wow. All right, various and miscellaneous, that one was easy. Okay, so total was six, 12 minus one, 11. Next up, comprehension. It is summer, half mark, plus half mark for any of the three following pieces of evidence. The weather is sunny each day. The tree and hedges have green foliage. Uh, the texture refers to August sunlight. Uh, when the narrator gets dressed for the fair, she doesn't put on a jacket, jumper, or coat. I'm gonna say I got the sun, and I've got late August sunlight. We're giving ourselves the full ones for that. We have blurry, correct. Oh, that says blurred, fuzzy, blurry. Blurry and blurred are very much the same word. Don't tell me this. Brightly colored. I put colorful. Yet again, I'm gonna go with that. Treasure, especially because brightly colored is not one word, and I think they answered it wrong. It says, what word? Those are two words. Colorful is better. And then we have treasure for spoils. I have winnings. I'm giving myself a point for that. Spoils, winnings. No, winnings make sense, but there were other things that they got besides winnings. So I'm actually gonna give myself not a point for that. I'm gonna give myself two. What do you think is meant whipped up in a frenzy? We've got zero because I didn't have time to answer it. They're likened to snakes because they carry multiple trailers. One, and I didn't have time to do any more, so we're gonna do one. Side stalls are different games that they have at the fun fair separated by rudimentary walls. Uh, side stalls are games. Yes, we have that. The required skills like accurate, blah, blah, blah. They're opportunity to win prizes. They're conscious of the rides. I'm gonna be honest. I only get one point for that. According to what they wanted, they didn't want me to describe the architecture of the goddamn side stalls. Bolting down some breakfast. I definitely got that. We have every step quickened my heart. Didn't get a point for that. And then we have sunlight ebbed away. That's one more mark. So that's two out of three. Yikes. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I really, really missed out on those. She wanted to embellish the story. 
The mental calculations didn't sound nearly enough. She wanted to tell a good story. Yes. I get one point. I will take that. Alliteration. Yeah. Simile was spiders, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, metaphor was the bottom one. Yes. All right. So that's two, po only two points. Come on guys. Next up we have closed tests. So it should be Ash Garden Regional Toddlers headphones. Those are all correct. So one, 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 one. Next up we have Queola Elf for Ope. Uh-huh. Queola Elf for Ope. Good. Done pretty well with this page. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. All right. Next up we have our aid. Uh, oh. Oh no! Jokes! This is... I get points. I'm I'm not allowing this uh, American erasure, okay? One, one, I'm given the bloody point. Eyeglasses is an Americanism. And if you marked the child wrong for coming from a different country in which this word is very acceptably used, I would come in there and tell you your grammar school was full of poppycock. I'm actually genuinely giving myself a point because that is correct and they should have realized that more people exist. I said, that's weird, that's an Americanism. In the spirit of the test. I was right. Actually, Evan in the edit here, and yeah, I didn't notice in my massive rush, it said, they help to protect your eyes from sun damage. Now, to be fair, eyeglasses, including these, do protect from certain UV rays from the sun, so this is technically correct. However, I do understand that sunglasses is supposed to make more sense. Just wanna throw that out there, but eyeglasses, mmm. Next, 47431, that is correct. We have three, then 17. If I get these wrong, I'm gonna be really depressed. 113 and 452, correct, thank God. Then we have 351, 2259, good, good, good. Next up we have the number four. Yes, that was a simple one. February, five hours. And it uh, looks like I said F it to that one, which is annoying because we had everything else correct. Four, seven, I just do minus one, so 13. I might pass this just yet. Michael is baking zero. He's getting baked. Next up, we should have data questions. That answer was four, supposedly. Eh. Data is 11 pounds for the first one. Good, that's a point. Oh, it's two pound 20 at some point. So it's 11 pounds crayons, 1026. So we're gonna give a zero, cause I don't know it. 1942, that was the last one I managed. So yeah, yeah, worth it. All right, next we have 220, got it. One hour, wow, I really zipped through that. Oh, okay, I got that one very wrong. Oh my God, it says how far are the shops? 15 minutes, May. It should have said how far are the shops in distance because how far, a lot of people are going to say time. And I'm correct, 15 minutes. They're 15 minutes away. <laughs> Come on, this is so bullshit. I'm gonna give myself zero. It's a very devious question, but I'm going to go with the spirit of it for this one and go, they got me. Okay, you got me, 11 plus people. You tricked me. How far does Philip spend at the shops? He spends 2.5 hours. That was the dumbest thing I could have written uh, because he only spends 25 minutes. How in God's name, I wrote 25 and wrote out, listen, I was rushing. That was so silly. I literally knew it was right there. And I was like, 10, 20, two and a half hours. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no, five out of nine, yikes. All right, we're finally towards the end here. Nonverbal reasoning. First up is B, we are correct. So we're looking at B-A-C-E-C. B-A-C-E-B, -E -B. all right. So it's one, 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 one. There's no way I can, visualize that cube in the time span. I feel like for me, that's one of the most difficult ones is uh, visualizing uh, three dimensional things. I can do it, but it mind bends me. Like it hurts my brain. So the answer was B. So whatever, uh, my feelings are hurt. I had to guess that one anyway, four to five. We're finally at the end here. The answers are D, D, A, and C. I'll take it. All right, so gosh, how do we do? So we've got 10, eight, nine, 11. This is the final test here. Eight. 13, 13. And this is given that I gave myself two and also took away two that might've been correct if a teacher was not evil. 13, five, four, three. All right, so we are grading out of 100. We're at 84 out of 100. All right, 84%. Now what is the passing mark on these? I, I actually do not know. The average for an 11 plus is around 80%. <laughs> what is a good score on the 11 plus? 80 or below represents the bottom 10%. Uh huh. 100 represents the average score and 120 or above represents the top 10%. Okay, clearly this is wrong because I only had 100 possible options. You can't get more, can you? Can you? So passing is over 80%. So I did pass. I'm not necessarily in the top marks here compared to my GCSE video, 
but basically this is graded based on how everybody else that applied to the grammar school did. They probably just normalized the curve. So if the average student applying ended up getting an 88%, then clearly they're going to only accept the upper echelon. So they're just going to normalize that. They curved a lot in my university, as you can tell from my grade on this. All right, so what exactly have I even learned from this adventure? Well, I wouldn't necessarily get accepted into grammar school without studying, which is mildly embarrassing, but it depends on where I'm looking to go. Maybe if I go to a worse county, I'll be fine. I can be let in because the rest of everybody is just as over just above average as I am. But if the real 11 plus is anything like this practice, time is probably the most difficult part about this exam. Usually when I finish exams, I have quite a bit of time left over to check my answers and whatnot. This was one in which I was pretty hectic. It's also a bit difficult because you're going through a lot of different things, not just vocab or context and reading English sentences and words and matching random words that are superfluous, but also a logic reasoning, also short math, long math, data math, which if I could use a calculator, I might've fared a bit better, let's be honest, just for the, the average type stuff. But I kind of like that it's all encompassing. It uses a lot of different things. The ones that I had to do in the US for elementary school really focused on the uh, logic puzzles and also on the short maths and the, uh, the English. I don't think we had as many of these, like what three words are missing or what three letters are missing. Never done that before. They had to choose the most British story ever as well. They're like candy floss and after my tea, Fortnite. Now I feel like I understand people that weren't able to pass this a little bit more. It is difficult, especially if you're from an area that is very competitive. But before I wrap this one up, I just wanted to give a quick thank you for the sponsor of this video that made this whole video possible and basically paid me to sit here and take a test. And that of course is NordVPN. You don't forget passing marks on a grammar school exam in order to know that internet privacy is really important. Why just allow yourself to be out there on public Wi-Fi is when people could be snooping on your data. No, if you wanna download some 11 plus exams in your spare time at a local Starbucks, maybe use NordVPN, encrypt all of your traffic. No one can see what you're up to. No government, no Starbucks employee, no little guy on the side. What's he doing over there, that little guy? Or maybe you could use NordVPN's ability to change your browsing location so you can open up and watch Netflix in different countries. It's kind of great. NordVPN also have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you're not satisfied, you can get a full refund guaranteed. And if you want to sign up like many of my lovely viewers have, you can use nordvpn.com slash Evan to get a really big discount on into your plan. Thank you Nord for sponsoring this little video and for helping me take this test in a way. I didn't do too well on the test. I didn't do the best. I feel really hurt. Why is it whenever I take a test, I'm wearing this shirt? I didn't do that well on this test. To be honest, I'm hurt. Why is it always the best that I take a test in this shirt? Okay, uh, thanks for watching.